We lost one of the women of the night today, Miss Judy Tenuta, the love goddess. You'll remember her with her accordion and body little uh, quips. She she became a face on TV commercials and uh, a lot of voiceover work. But this special from HBO in 1987, Women of the Night, is where we first were introduced to her. Many people also to Ellen DeGeneres, also on there is Paula Poundstone and Rita Rudner. So four strong uh, female comedians from 35 years ago. So saddened to hear about Judy's passing. Thank you for the chuckles. I'm sure you'll be keeping it up wherever your new venue is. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a very shy and innocent, petite little flower who is more famous than anyone who's ever lived Judy Tenuta. <laughs> Hi, pigs. <laughs> you know, my name is Judy, and I have my own religion, Judaism. <laughs> yes, soon you will all be my personal love slaves. But first, but first, let's go back in time. You know, I'm trying to lead a normal life. So just now, I was on this airplane to Europe. It could happen. <laughs> Anna, there's this guy sitting next to me. Looks like a squid in stretch pants. <laughs> so you know, I'm ready to spawn. <laughs> is trying to make me talk to him. Yeah, just because he paid for my trip. <laughs> How much can I give? I ask you stunt puppets. So then he starts puffing on a cigar the size of God's ego. And he's blowing this cigar smoke in my petite flower face. And I said, excuse me, excuse me, but if I wanted to shorten my life, I'd date you. Okay, <laughs> Sasquatch? So, of course, he takes this as a come on. <laughs> oh, and he says to me, he says, Judy, says Judy, says Judy. <laughs> He had an accordion, too. <laughs> yes, yes, it could happen. It could happen. And he said, oh, Judy, Judy. Yes, he wanted to possess me. He said, <laughs> he said oh, Judy, come with me to Japan. You can be my little geisha girl. I said, all right, like I have time to get my feet bound <laughs> for some sperm whale with a Visa card. Come closer to the goddess. Come closer. Now I want to ask you a question. How many of you ever started dating someone because you were too lazy to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, come on! You know what I mean, the kind of trolls that you've devoted your whole lives to them, and then they say, well, uh, I need to see other people. 
Yeah, well, watch Donahue. Okay, sex ape. And, and I have this friend, Mary Beth Easy. And she's not really my friend. She's more like a landmass with a perm. And no, but I mean it as a compliment. You know, um, so wait, one day she called me. You remember she called me and she said, Judy, Judy. Are you coming to my wedding? And I said, oh, yeah, right. You know, like, I have time to buy her a blender. <laughs> Just because some pipe fitter is poaching her eggs. <laughs> yeah! Just because some bus boy from Meals on Wheels found her F-stop. Things to do, like stay in bed and complain. <laughs> you know what that's like, don't you, Princess of Power? <laughs> look at you, look at you. You're begging to be me. <laughs> yeah. By now, I'm sure you can tell that I'm the kind of woman who sits by the phone and waits for some man to call. <laughs> Crawl for it. That's right. Look at you, stud puppet. Look at you with your legs open like there's almost any hope. No, no. You cannot possess me. No. Oh, now, come closer to the goddess. Come closer. Oh, guess what? I want to tell you a secret. I want to tell you a secret. Guess what? I, I'm dating the Pope. No, no, I'm just using them to get to God. That's right, I love the Pope. He's a fashion plate. One time he called me. You remember he called me? Yes, and he said, Judy, Judy. Wanted to possess me. He said, oh, Judy, let's go hunting. And I love to hunt. Because I like to wear safety orange. <laughs> and, the, and, and the Pope says, hey, Judy, can I come to your house and touch your velvet painting of Elvis <laughs> that cries? And I said, suffer, Pope. <laughs> He cannot possess, you know. Oh, so then, um, the Pope and I astral projected. It happened. And we went to Texas, and I wrote this love song for the Pope. It's a country and western love song, and you could dance to this. case sponge I just want a cowboy to ride me home. Cowboy who's rich and lives in a room. I just want a cowboy with gold plated soap. Yeah, I just want a cowboy named John Paul the Pope. No, I'm not done. I met him one day in the Krakow saloon. It could happen. From clear across the room, he said, hey, little clutch key, you're supposed to kiss my ring. I said, if I want to see your bathtub, I'll learn how to sing. <laughs> He'd be my main man, I'd be his blue nun. <laughs> He'd teach me how to kiss the ground, I'd teach him how to duck from a gun. To whom I can confess. Yeah, I just want a cowboy in a long white silky dress. No, no, don't spoil me, stud puppets. Oh, wait, let me put down my IUD. Some people 
have no concept of reality. My mom, she made me babysit my brother Bosco. Bosco! Yes, he's like you, but with a human head. <laughs> no, I mean it as a turn-on, stud puppet. So, so, um, so one day my mom, my mom came home early and she says, hey, Judy, what's Bosco's severed arm doing on the table? And I said, um, bad paper cut. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day, I was coming home from work. It could happen. And I noticed my house was gone. I thought, oh God, it's my fault for leaving it out in the open. <laughs> and I got closer, there were all these firemen. They looked at me with lust, like you. Yes. Yes. They looked at me with lust. And they said, Judy, Judy, your brother Bosco burnt down the house. I said, Bosco, why'd you torch the house? He goes, was laughing at me. I said, Bosco, it was laughing with you. My dad used to make hot dogs too. Yeah, he would boil the hot dogs and we get to drink the juice. My dad, my dad. Wow, on a guy just like my dad who worships plaid. A guy who hikes his boxer shorts up to his neck, sits in front of the TV set with a beer and cigarettes. And when company comes, he says, <laughs> Oh, I want a guy just like my dad, who's really rad. A stud who orders dentures through the mail, makes lasagna with his feet, and takes great pride that his eyebrows meet. <laughs> you guys, you know, you know, I, I wanted to meet a sensitive guy, didn't I? Huh? Yes, like you, but with a pulse. So, I went into this punk rock bar, and this guy comes up to me, he's got a mohawk haircut, he goes, hey, wanna dance? I said, no, we've had enough rain squatting bull. <laughs> he goes, hey, you shouldn't talk to me like that. When I make love, I turn into an animal. I said, oh, that's a step up. <laughs> he says, come on, Judy, let's go out once. What do you say we go out once? And I said, well, um, to tell you the truth, I was looking for someone a little closer to the top of the food chain. <laughs> and then, you know what? You know what happened? He tried to kiss me. No, he cannot possess me. He tried to kiss me, and he kissed like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> His head fell back 180 degrees. <laughs> and his tongue popped out. <laughs> like I'm supposed to give them communion. <laughs> Thank you so much. You people mean nothing to me. Thank you. Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. It's awfully bright out here. I'd click on another one of my videos. Quit looking into the sun. Your mother told you not to do that. Please hit the subscribe button.
And if you want to support the channel more, there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Ooh! Ooh!